Good morning from the Walby Belgium parking lot. Today, we are gonna be riding Conda, and no one is excited for it at all. As you can see here, we are extremely bummed to be here. Now we've done a pretty good job at avoiding going to parks in Europe on Saturdays. Uh, this is actually our first park that we'll be experiencing on a day like today and clearly you can see with the lines why we've been avoiding the weekends. So yeah, I would expect longer lines today. Welcome to Wallaby Belgium. August, you've been here before, right? I have. I tried getting here last year and then they had the floods and everything. It was, it was so bad but then I went here the year before but Conda wasn't open and I missed the mine train too, so I'm excited to be back. Ooh, yeah, there we go. So, brand new Intamin for all of us. So, Loop Guru is the wooden roller coaster, and that is a 55 minute wait. Ugh, yeah. That's a no! Welcome to the station for Conda. This is really, really cool. You know what this reminds me of? What? It gives me Black Mamba station vibes. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Very, very jungly, and this is very, very neat. Here we go. First ride on Conda. Alright, first ride there on Conda. Uh, that's a great ride. That is that is awesome. That was actually pretty cool. Yeah? Yeah, that was really good. I really liked that. Yeah, I, I, the first drop like totally whips you down very much inside of Expedition G-Force, maybe yeah. even more so whippy. First airtime hill, just this huge camelback. Uh, the non like inverted co roll thing was that weird. was probably like one of my favorite elements. It's really? Like, so weird. Yeah, it's so I don't weird. know. In the back, I thought it was too slow. Like I, I kind of hope that speeds fair. up. I didn't like feel like anything. I, the rest of it, it was really good, but I didn't think that co roll thing. Was I thought it was pretty cool. I've never been. I've never. Seen it was it like cool, that. but I wanted a little bit more from it. So I'm I'm curious how it speeds up because obviously we're, we're here like pretty soon after the park opened. That is very cool. I like that. And then the airtime hills towards the end are totally weird. That the like, end was the best part, I think. They, it was pretty cool because they're very low to the ground. It's and then very just, RMC, like it's like the beginning of some RMCs it, or it something, was, how yeah. they kind of do this. I'll give you that. Or yeah. like the ending of some The last airtime hill is like banked to the side as you like hit the brakes. It's like crazy. Check out this plaza right here. This is pretty freaking cool. I love like, this is like a dinosaur like bone statue or a dragon or something like that. Um, and then this is like a whole temple. All right, so we've exited Conda after three back-to-back -back rides, and our last one was actually in the front row. So now we've experienced the back and the front. What do you think? Uh, I like it in the back. I do too. Yeah. So this was uh, on the front. I like the speed was cool, but I felt like each of the moments were handled better towards the back. I don't know. Maybe the exception being like that cobra roll thing. Maybe I like that better up front. Yeah, I think it you had. Do a lot. It doesn't do a lot for me, like. No, period, no. But it, maybe it had a little bit more whip. Honestly, I wish the whole element had more whip to it. I feel like you I go through it, it too. I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like Maverick whips, like. When no, and it, it doesn't. Like that's honestly the only like real dead spot for me. Um, it's like, all right, let's go. Yeah, one part that's surprising is actually towards uh, the end when it's doing like the return about that trips. One, like, it does like a double here. down sort yeah. of thing. It's like you. From the back, it looks like you're just going down a normal hill, but then it like does like a step down, and it totally catches you off guard. Look at this entrance. They have all of these different like signs and advertisements for a club, tattoo parlor. There it is. This is just very strange to see. Look, the gearbox for it's just casually right there. Look, there's the underside of the train. Dang. Whoa. Alright, so we just did CK Underground, and that is pretty bizarre. That was really cool though, I liked it a lot. It definitely was. Disorienting! 
It was. I mean, they had a cool launch sequence. And what's interesting to compare this to like other uh, Schwarzkopf shuttle loops, uh, this one moves forward out of the station and then takes off. So it does, it's not like a dead stop because it doesn't use a flywheel launch system. They took it out. So yes, they use linear induction motors. So like you go forward a little bit. Now once it engages with the limbs, and then you go through a vertical loop, and then you go up a spike, and then back through, and then that is uh, the end of the ride right there. It is very short, but it's definitely cool. Something tell me uh, Pulsar is not open right now. Hopefully uh, they fix it so that we can actually experience our first mock power splash because Aquaman still isn't open. This restaurant has a ton of options that you would never see at normal theme parks. Like you can get a full steak, salmon, and a rack of ribs. What? Time for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, it or at totally least like it does like, look exactly like it. <laughs> We just rode the Big Thunder Mountain knockoff, and it was very much a Big Thunder Mountain knockoff. It was really fun though. I like that they did the uh, the effect when you're going up the second lift hill, where it feels like you're going. Yeah. I like that you on Thunder Mountain. Not as long. There were two lift hills though, uh, so actually a pretty decent length. It's well themed. It looks exactly like Big Thunder Mountain. So water effects. It, there's water effects. The drop tower does not have a line, so we're doing it. It's called Dalton Terror. Who is Dalton? Who is Dalton? I don't know. Kinda. Look at it. Ooh. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Nice. That's a good drop. I thought we were going to hit the roof there. My ears popped. We are entering Exotic World so we can do Tiki Waka. So, relatively speaking, I think we actually picked a pretty good park to do on a Saturday because this ride right here, Tiki Waga, has like a 45 minute wait, but they also have a single rider line. What? This definitely belongs in like the Polynesian, or you said the Adventureland section of like Magic Kingdom or oh, Disneyland. Yeah, it's very reminiscent. This is all the line that we're skipping. All this, it's actually even less of a weight than Speedy Pass. Tiki Waka is like a step up from a wild mouse. Um, I think it's a lot prettier to look at than it is to ride. Like, it was fine and all, like don't get me wrong, it was nothing crazy but uh, like it is just so beautiful in the park the landscaping they've done uh, is incredible but the ride experience is like eh, it's fine you know it is pretty tame up next is Pulsar and this is gonna be a cool one because we have not done a mock rides power splash I wonder why yeah but uh, it, it's, it's a little weird to see here just because we have gotten to see Aquaman in person this What's is Aquaman I don't uh, even know what you're talking about I know this is the original. There's only a couple of these around the world. Like I know there's one in China. Five minutes later, and we still haven't done a mock powder splash. It's, it's, <laughs> it's close. That cycle that we just showed you was like the last one before it went down. Uh, so I hope it reopens because this looks really cool. I'd like to experience one. Yeah. But I don't know. Uh, from what we've heard, this ride is super temperamental. So, which makes me wonder if that is the holdup in Texas because they're trying to figure out what the problem. Well, we know they're adding a turntable. Yeah. But, like, I'm sure there's more to it than just that. Exactly. I think that that could be an additional issue that they're like, how do we make it reliable? This park is ginormous. Like, there's so much land here. Conda's way over there, and there's a Vacoma boomerang like way over there. And there's another roller coaster right there. There's an SLC way down there. Like, oh my gosh, this park is so much bigger than I imagined. Bro, I'm just trying to oh. walk. Oh, frick. Oh no. Uh uh. No way. This whole area is like Arabian themed. And we're about to do this dark ride called Popcorn Revenge. That's an interesting title of a ride, but alright. We got some great movies here like The Corn King. 
Pop Busters. Have a corn. Oh my gosh. Yo, is this a trackless dark ride? Is it trackless? What? Yeah, it's true. Whoa. What? It's Whoa. Wow, look at this. of all these different movie themes. Like we saw E.T. earlier, there's a lightsaber. I saw a piece of popcorn with the Infinity Gauntlet. They have stuffed popcorns. Ah, wait, what do you think? Oh, he dummy thing. What? Yeah. Damn. Sheesh. Wait, I want to keep back in. That ride was actually really cool. Uh, no 3D glasses or anything, which was great, worked for me. And I thought that the story was fun. What, uh, you're just shooting popcorn. I don't know if it's you're trying to kill the popcorn or eat the popcorn. Or the popcorn turned evil, but I dug it. It was cool. Cobra is the Pacoma Boomerang here, and it also has a 30-minute wait. So that's going to be a no for me. I'd rather do some of the more unique things. And so, you know, if there's time for it, great. But if it comes down to it, I'd rather spend that 30 minutes doing rides like Honda and stuff. Meet the Wallaby. August, if you run fast enough, then you can get there before that kid does. He walks up there with his monster and everything. Aww. Give him a hug, August. Aww. 40 minutes still? Ugh. Well, that was definitely not 40 minutes, a lot less, and we walked straight onto the front row of Loop Guru. Let's see how bad it is. Yay. Loop Guru is a load of garbage. That was terrible. Actual trash. Never need to ride that. Never want to ride that ever. It's a Vacoma wind coaster, and I'm glad that there's not many of these out there. It's the same as what Robin Hood was, and that got arm seed. So here's a wonderful idea. Untamed has been so popular at Walby Holland. Let's arm see this thing because it's so bad. But the locals say that it's popular still. So I don't know. We have to somehow get people to stop riding it so much. <laughs> so yeah. They're like, oh, maybe we should do something. They're saying that like when when the park opens, like people literally run to this ride. That and the SLC, and I'm like, ugh. So the people here do not have good taste in roller coasters because Conda is always a walk on. <laughs> I don't get it. Matt, are you okay? You look like. Get the camera out of my face. <laughs> I think he's been emotionally or physically scarred. Look, another dark ride. Hey, this one's themed to King Tut. That's so cool. Ooh. All right, so the King Tut dark ride was super long and really cool. It did not need to be a shooting ride, guys. That, that was so unnecessary. unnecessary. Like, there's already shooting dark ride in this park. This was practical effects. There were no, like, screens or anything. We didn't even know what to shoot at. Uh, well, I, I mean, okay, for at least for the first part, like, yeah, yeah, I was way more interested in some of the like actual scenery and stuff. It was amazing. It was really cool. So and the effects too. They're not cool effects in there. I won't spoil it, but like, very good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll spoil it. There's fire. <laughs> you don't care. Wow. Yeah. Wow. The, well, now that it's been spoiled, the fire was really cool and not expected. But the practical sets. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They, they were good. They were good. I, I was pretty impressed with them. So definitely a ride that you should do. I would say when you come here. All right, one hour till park close. We're going again on Conda. So we are riding Conda and I look over and I see Pulsar going, which this ride has been closed like most of the day so here we are this this might be our last ride uh, hopefully not hopefully we can do one more on conda but honestly i'm just glad that we're able to get on this thing because right now it's like the only one out there that we're able to experience at least for the foreseeable future all right so that was pulsar right there so first ever mock power splash you hate water rides, your opinion doesn't matter. That, okay, that wasn't terrible. The air time okay. going backwards was actually pretty awesome. Yes, 
It totally was. Wet, so, you know. yeah. You're giving me like icebreaker pantheon vibes, like the backward air time. Yeah. I, all the water I got was like a couple of spots on the floor. Yeah, for such a it. big splash, it really does not get you that wet at all. Yeah, I also had Matt cowering over top of me like I a baby. I was not. No, no, no. False yes, you information. Were. What I'll say was interesting. So, first of all, um, they, I guess it was down a lot because they were trying to figure out uh, two trains and because it was just on one earlier, now it's on two. So. Um, that definitely helps with capacity, but I found it interesting that they closed off the front row for both trains. So um, we sat in row two, about as close as the front we can get. The launches were cool. Um, I wouldn't say the ride is like, I don't know, anything too crazy. Like, it's 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 cool. It's unique. Uh, the public certainly seems to like it because it has a pretty long line. But yeah, um, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say it wowed me per se. Um, I'm sure it'll be popular Six Flags Over Texas just because it gets so hot there, you know? And it looks like Pulsar was our last ride of the day. Because they do close the lines here early, so everything else is closed even though it's not quite 7 o'clock yet. So we're at least going to check out the main gift shop here. Look at that wallaby. They have Conda pillows. I wish they sold that. That's actually like super cool. That's like wall art. I am not a fan of these I Survive shirts. Like, I don't know. I, I really do not like those. Wow, look at that. It's like coming out of an egg. It's kind of fun. Man, this place makes no sense. Why are they selling Baby Yoda stuff? That's not have anything to do with this park. What, is this Jurassic Park? This is like the same thing at Europa Park where they just have like random stuff like this is Universal and Warner Brothers properties. Like, no, why is that here at Wallaby, Belgium? All right, we're on our way out of Wallaby, Belgium. Uh, this was a good day, I mean, it's, Busy, obviously, but it's Saturday. It, I'm sure this is about as bad as it gets. As yeah. Far as weekends, so uh, like to be honest, it could be. Worse. Yes, it could it definitely could be worse. I mean, I would say we probably waited the longest for mm, maybe the wind coaster loop guru. Uh, yeah, but like even Conda's line wasn't that bad, and single rider saved it. Like I feel like if they didn't have a single rider option, we had to wait every single time, oh, then okay. our view of today would probably be a lot more skewed. But, you know what? They did. Yeah. It was just a great choice. We got a lot of rides in on it, which yeah. is, honestly, that was the main coaster we won. Anyways, um, didn't even get to the Boomerang SLC or, or okay. Katie Christopher. Whatever. This was more important. So, um, the dark rides were cool. That was a nice surprise. Dude, the popcorn thing was so creative. Yeah. And the other one was like... Like a legit dark ride. Like yeah. It was like really the other thing I'll give is the park is is very big and everything looks nice. Um, so I was definitely impressed by that. And it will be cool to then go to Wallaby Holland tomorrow and be able to kind of compare and contrast the two. I know. Yeah. They need to RMC that stupid Loop Guru coaster. That's that was terrible. Um, hey, hey, hey! How was your day? Very good. Very nice. Found that elite. Mwah. <laughs> Conda do be good. Best ride in the park. Okay, but and besides Conda. best ride in Europe. Ooh. Ooh. But what update. do you think of the park? The park was overall, it was it was good. I liked it. It was good. All right. I don't know. I got I've been here before, but like, I, I really like this park. I think it's one of the, I think it's the best Wallaby park maybe. Okay, you like know. it more than Wallaby Holland? I think so. But we'll be there tomorrow. Yep. So we'll be able to see see yeah. how they compare. I'll get back to yeah, yeah. tomorrow, right. which is better. Now we have a very important stop coming up. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get hit by this car. Uh, we have a very important stop coming up next, McDonald's! and that is Belgium McDonald's. Woo! You think they just serve everything on waffles? I. Why? That'd be cool, actually. Well, another cred. This one has flowers on it. Woo! Let's see what tastes different. What is that? Or that? Or that? <laughs> or that? They have macaroons here, what? Also, these donuts have been all across Europe. I've seen them literally everywhere. <laughs> all right, so I got a waco guaco, and this is a medium. Uh, I don't like that. Different sizes. Yeah, but uh, that's also a waco guaco, but that's with beef. Yay. Also a waco guaco with beef. Ooh. I have black all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> that McDonald's was good, but it smells so bad over here. All right, let's get on the road. We have a two-hour drive to Wallaby Holland. You have the worst taste in music ever. Remind us never to let you DJ.
Dutch people will agree with me. It's so good. <laughs> this is not music. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. It's now 1 a.m. Uh, we've been up hanging out with uh, some friends uh, as we uh, prepare for an awesome day tomorrow at uh, Wallaby Holland. So today was great, uh, but we're definitely going to go ahead and pass out. But I'm excited for tomorrow. Wallaby Holland is a great park, and we're going to get to do Untamed, which is going to be super cool. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to stay tuned for more Harry Coast Studios. We'll see you tomorrow.